Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. We are on 1. version 1.43 with ProMods 2.6 as we were in the last video. And last time we picked up a double trailer. Now, thus far, I haven't crashed it. I've managed to keep it on the road. I haven't even touched the grass. So, sort of going well, but I'm not 100% certain. We have some ways to go. If I go to the world map, you can see that we started off up here. So we, we, we were down here in Madrid somewhere. Yeah, I think we were down here somewhere. We had to come back. Yes, here we were. We were down here. We had to go back up all the way up to here, grab the trailer from here and then come back down. And now we are here. We are going to be continuing all the way down to Almeria and we will see what we've got. I feel like that might be an, an old Arabic. These these look like Arabic names. In fact, these are Arabic names. G given they, the reason I you, you'll get the AL, it's things like um, algebra, algorithm, they're all of those. Um, even this one, that looks, and then these are more Spanish. So this is probably more Latin based. Yeah, the, so down here it's Arabic, which makes sense near Africa, so that's more... There, this is more Spanish. How, where can we go in this map now? I mean, there, there are quite a few places we can now go. That is incredible. I'm fairly sure they've expanded this more. But um, there we go, let's, let's get started. I've explored 8.94% of the map. This is a little bit silly now. Um, I guess I'm only going to get to about 9.2, 9.3 once we get to the bottom of this. Let's find out what we have. What, what does this do? Ah, I didn't know that. I did not know we could do that. Anyway, let's get started. I keep saying that. I'll say something different next time. Okay, here's a double trailer. Let's get out of here. Keep an eye out for other vehicles. She seems to be clear. Still keep an eye out for other vehicles. Looks clear. Right, let's go. I have to say, driving driving a lorry is actually quite interesting. Uh, the reason the reason being is that. There's so much more that you have to think about, but it isn't as... I, I will be honest, and perhaps a real lorry driver might correct me, but it really isn't as hard as it seems. You just have to learn to think about things slightly differently, especially, especially now that a lot of lorries are... a lot of trucks, cabs, are automatic gearboxes, which I, uh, I'll be honest, I much prefer manual. We've already spoke about this uh, previously about what, what's my thoughts are on that, but um, I just do not think that this is that difficult to to do. We've got a kind of a straight section here. Let's have a look outside at this truck. Oh, I do have my... Ooh! Whoa! Okay. Uh, friction really needs to be fixed on this. Let's, let's bring ourselves back inside and just... Yeah, the, the truck's a bit unstable, I'll be honest. Um, I'm not sure why with this new update. That's fine. It's um it just is it just does not seem that difficult to to actually drive drive a truck. It's just you just have to think more. That's all. Think more, adapt yourself and prepare. Now maybe it is because I'm used to you know, in, in Euro Truck Simulator, or not just Euro Truck Simulator, I've done 
train simulator, I've done flight simulator, I've, I've driven all these different types of cars in, in simulators, and I've driven a few different cars in real life as well, and fans and things like that. But maybe, maybe it's something to do with that, that I find this quite, quite easy overall. Adding the second trailer does make it more of a challenge. That, that is definitely more of a challenge. Um, but I think overall, it's it's an interesting job. I think the downsides of driving lorries is going to be just really long hours. You have to live in your truck, um, all of that sort of stuff. I think that is where a lot of people would not want to to do the job. And of course, the pay for for the amount you sacrifice, the pay perhaps is not the greatest. Let's try and take a screenshot. I, I will be honest. Um, I would not want to do the job. That that much is is for certain. I would not want to do the job of a lorry driver. But it's not. It has nothing to do with driving the lorry itself, though. That isn't the part of the job I would not like. It's all the other bits that I would not like. So in that sense, it's really hard. But so I think the actual driving does not seem all too difficult. Of course, it, I could be completely wrong. In a, in, in a game, in a simulator, it's different to real life. Uh, anyone who's anyone who's driven cars would know this. Anyone who's a, a pilot would, would know this. It isn't as different as some people might try and make it out to be, particularly nowadays, but it is different. And depending on the, you know, what, what you have, depending on the, the equipment you have and what you are doing with it and the, the quality of the product, it may it may differ, but yes, it isn't as different as as you would think, uh, or you might think, and some people might say, but it is different. It is certainly different. So, for example, driving a driving a car. In, in something like, let's say, a set of Corsa, Dri driving a car, what would it be? Um, let's say y you'll get maybe 70-80% of the feel, but the one thing that you are going to be missing, which is quite vital in cars, is the G-Force. You are definitely going to be missing the G-Forces, so you have to bear that in mind. Um, Bear with me, I just need to ensure that I've got this okay, which I have. It's not drifting out of the lane, so I'm okay here. But yes, G-Force is, is a vital thing when, when you're driving a car, and the feeling through your body as well when, when you are driving the car is, is different, but that being said, there is so much that a simulator can do to prepare you. I saw a video the other day of, um, it was someone who had never drifted uh, a car before, and but was an expert drifter on a set of Corsa, I think. And you should have seen the way this person was drifting a car. Why did that jump out of gear? The way this person was drifting a car was nothing short of exceptional so this per um an experienced drifter maybe a drift champion or something came along showed them how to how to drift the car so you know w what's what and then just left them to it and that was that what's happened here Oh no. That isn't good. Okay. Uh That is not good at all because I do not know another way to this place. 
Right, okay. That's a problem. How do we get to where we want to go now? I need to consult a map. What do we do now? The only other way is through there. Or, or I come along here. Here we go. So it's, here's the problem. No, because that section, that part of the road hasn't been made. Or I can try and... No, I can. I can come along here, turn around here, go back that way and try and join up there. And that should... Right, that should sort out what I need to do. Okay. Uh, or I can just risk it right here. This is definitely double trailer trouble. Am I going to attempt this? I'm not sure I can. No, I'm not sure I can do that, but I am going to figure this out. There, there has to be a way for me to turn around here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I was just talking about simulators and, and I saw this person drift this car in the most phenomenal manner. I've never seen somebody drift a car like that, having not known how to drift a car. So I thought, wow. And it just shows that there is there is realism there uh, on, on this sort of... Oh, okay. On this sort of uh, when you're when you're driving in, in a simulator, I know a lot of people will say, oh, oh well, this, this isn't realistic. But there is realism. And you just have to, I suppose you just end up working out what is and is not the realistic part. So the part that is realistic is of course the, the physics, the driving experience there. The part that is not realistic would be, I'm going to turn it around here. The part that would not be realistic would be the the parts of the lack of g-force. Oh no! No, no, no! Come across! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Okay. That was worrying. Am I okay with my trailer? I have no idea. Oh, that's another set of wagons. Maybe another screenshot. I don't know what I was talking about with how I ended up with the simulator. I did I did not prepare that one. Um, as you can probably see, I did not prepare that. Uh, but there is there is realism in, in, in these things, uh, flight simulation, road simulation, but obviously there there are some things that are not quite, uh, can I get the right angle here? There are some things that are not quite realistic. For example, I do not have to do the long hours. That's one thing. Um, the the stress of sitting in the same seat all the time, that would be, I'm sure that would be quite dull. And of course, the, the other thing is that this is, if you, if you think about it, this is all quite compressed. So what's I would be doing for one or two hours somebody is going to do in their job for seven or eight hours maybe nine hours and that is where I think the problem would be um, and I think that is where the the tough part of the of the job is not the driving itself but just the monotony of it trying to obviously stay awake with that monotony and also um, the just the, the long long hours overall I think that is where you, you would have you would have trouble but anyway we are back on the road so we've managed to turn ourselves around and get past the accident going into the nights now but thankfully the trailer is 
I was going to say, thankfully the trailer is um, white, so we should be able to see. Uh, why did that guy get pulled over? We should be able to quite nicely see what is going on, which is which is good. So anytime I look behind, it should be quite easy to see the see see the trailer. Looks like we do have some. We do have some tunnels that we're going to be going through. This is yet another one, so. That is also good for, for visuals. Not sure how long the tunnels are. And I will switch on my beams as well. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Burning all the fuel. Burning all the fuel. That's it, 52. This is a heavy trailer, 30, 35 tons, so do have to be careful about that. I mean, I suppose it could have gone a lot worse than it did. I should have taken a, uh, um, a screenshot of me turning around, but uh, I didn't think. I took it after I was turning. I didn't think about taking it whilst I was turning. Oh, here comes another junction. I really hope there isn't another accident. Where... okay, where are we going here? We're not far away. That is a good thing. Just a matter of where. Almeria? Malaga? turning all the way oh oh okay why 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 would you be come on go 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 what is going on here? What is going on? Please don't make me stop on a hill. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, let's let's have a look at our trailer, see what it's like. Doesn't have any I thought it might have indicators along the along the side of it, but it unfortunately it doesn't. Uh, look at the tail back there now. The problem is I actually cannot go anywhere from here. I I am stuck here. Uh Okay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because that van has stopped, hasn't it? Don't tell me the van's broken down. I there's no way I'm getting through this. So Okay, I probably skipped a, a little bit, so you may not have seen everything, but uh, I managed to fix the traffic problem. And by that, I mean I had to reload the game. And it got rid of the traffic. Because the traffic was just not moving, so... There we go. We are we are back underway. After some, some mess. We still have our trailer with us. We, we haven't hit anything yet. Things are things are looking up. Things are certainly looking up. Let's put some foil beams back on. 
so we can see into the distance. Let's go straight to 6H. Should be able to do it. We are not that far away at all, so the, the fact that that has happened was a source of a curse of the commentator. We're not that far away, this shouldn't be a problem. And there we go. I was talking about the ups and downs of driving lorries, in my opinion, but I think I've pretty much covered everything there. The ups are you're driving a lorry, it's articulated, it's, it's an interesting thing to drive. The downsides are the long hours, uh, the, you know, sleeping in your truck, probably not being paid enough to do that job, that sort of stuff. So. I really, really have a... I've chosen a bad, bad time to be driving, it seems. Uh, that's a burnt-out truck. I really chose a bad time to be driving. Let's continue back. Yes, so... what? Do I do I ever want to be a, a lorry driver? No. No, no, I do not. That that is is not something I want to do. I've discovered a new viewpoint. I have no idea where we are. We must be on the coast. We are on the coast. Sierra Nevada. Oh, I do know where we are. Okay, great. We are not going down there right now. So I wouldn't want to be a lorry driver because despite the the great you know, driving a lorry um, one the lorries are automatic a lot of them so that isn't very nice anymore takes away from from that part that you'd want um, and two you do not want I would not want to do the the long the, the long nights overnight driving sitting in the same place all the time and of course this is in a simulator it's it's different you can get up and walk away if you if you get tired we're not doing this as some sort of formal training um, and I'm, I'm doing this for recording would I be playing Euro Truck Simulator as much as I do if I was not recording it probably not I, I probably would not be doing doing such a thing uh, but that is not because I, I do not like this title it's because I have other things to do so if being a lorry driver this is just a little bit of it if I had to do this day in day out and uh, yeah sure I'd be being I would be being paid for it but still not exactly something I would I would like to do overall anyway now, if you gave me a lorry for a day, then sure. And if I was only driving maybe, let's say, up and down England or Great Britain, then perhaps, yes, that would be an interesting thing to do. Is that another lane closure or what? No, no, it's just... Uh, that person's just decided yeah I'm, I'm not doing this then yes may, maybe I would drive a lorry but I'm not sure I can do this for a job uh, for, for a living and you know those people who do do this for a living I, I do hope you enjoy enjoy your jobs but so I, I do I do honestly think I could probably drive a lorry. I think I think I could. Um, maybe not one of those really big. Um, yeah, not not the ones that are uh, the oversized loads or anything like that. No way. But I think a standard lorry. I think I could drive. And that is something that I think I've picked up through simulation. Same way in in flying a plane. I mean. Um, you know, I've flown a plane so much in in home simulators. When when I did it in a professional simulator, I, I was I was all over it. Um, it was it was honestly yes, it was different because everything was real. 
um, yeah, in front of you, all the, all the switches, all the dials, all of that was real. But regardless of that, it was it was the same thing. I was flying the same thing. I understood what I was doing. Um, it wasn't yes, I wasn't perfect straight away on it, but in in the footage that I gathered, um, part of which is obviously online, the other part that is is not. Um, I was flying it all the time, and then I've I've done it quite a few times since. Uh, you know, practicing, checking things out, seeing what it's like, and um, I, I was I was absolutely fine. I've flown I've flown three aircraft, and uh, I haven't I haven't really had issues. So that is the sort of thing I think. I think a simulator gives you confidence in in doing such a thing. I think that's the that's the key part of a, of a simulator. I think the terrain is a little bit do not hit please do not hit thank you I think the terrain is just a little bit uh, too too strong the terrain um, uh, force feedback coming back from the terrain or the feedback terrain feedback because going over those bumps I know it doesn't feel like that's in a car it feels similar to that, but it doesn't feel like that. Still haven't crashed this. Of course, what is going to happen is we're going to have to navigate a mini roundabout. Oh boy. Well, rubbish. I can do this. I can do this. In the dark, I can do this. Do not go into that ditch. Why would you have a ditch there? Okay, I've done that part. Now I've got to go in here. Now I'm starting to worry a little. Okay, so far so good. What do we have up ahead? Uh, I guess that's where we're going, XPO Logistics. So, what do I want to do? Yeah, I want to, you know, turning in right here. This is really nice. This is honestly really, really nice. Oh, this is... okay. I'm looking for my parking spot, and I really ho hope they have not been mean about this. Also, there's an Iveco right here. Bump. I am really hoping they have not been mean about this. That's the entrance. That driver's an idiot. You're an idiot. You are genuinely an idiot. But did you not see the indicator? Are you... Now, how am I supposed to get this in here now with that guy? I do kind of want to take a screenshot through this, all of this, though. Because it's just like, what what has just happened here? And I will, I will leave the screenshot in. Because this just shows the... Wow. Uh, you would think you would wait, but oh no. Oh no, no, you, you clearly have some something else in mind don't you very quick screenshot for a potential for the potential um right let's see what we got 
I'm turning in. If I hit you, it's not my problem. And now you waited. Okay. This is the kindest they could have been. They, this is brilliantly kind. Okay, I just have to ensure that I can straighten it up into this. Because if it isn't straight in here, then it's not going to let me, it's not going to accept it, is it? That will do. That will very, very much do. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, I, I will, I will take it. Disconnect. Okay, lemonade delivered. That was a loss of lemonade. 38,000. We made the delivery. It's all gone well. And I'm level 20. Oh, what do I add? What do I add on the skills? Um, I'm not sure. We tend not to do deliveries of 621 miles, so... I mean, do we want to do 900 mile deliveries? Um, do we want to do more fragile cargo? Eco driving, that's probably something we really, really, really need. Up to 25%, we could do another 5% dry, uh, fuel saving. I tell you what, let's do... Let's do high value cargo, because I think that... Oh wait. We haven't even got... What is that one? Is that poisonous liquid? Toxic. Um, I'm not really... Yeah, let's not do that one. I've got the rest. I'm happy with the rest of it. Let's go for more high-value cargo, I think. That's, that's what we want to do. So, can I switch things off? No. High-value cargo it is. I think that the length of the things is pretty good. Um, do we have a... Let's have a look in the, at the world map. There is a... What? They've changed the icons. That's a garage. That's a truck dealer. The truck dealer should have a service, so... I suppose as we were coming down, it was the... What was it trying to show us on the viewpoint? This viewpoint here, is there like a river or something? Elegido. Was it Elegido? Elegido, Elegido. Let's let's pop over across the across the road. See if there's a service there. And that is where I will end this video. Uh, let's go ahead and oops. Let's go ahead and actually pick the right gear. I'm I'm impressed that I managed to do that. Don't know about you guys, but I I'm fairly happy that I managed to do that. Ah. Is there actually no service here? Surely there must be a service. There isn't. There's no service, there's no... The truck dealership is closed. Oh, well, okay then. I guess I'll just park up here and we will end the episode right there. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Do you think I did okay with the double trailer? I think I did okay. Uh, if you're a lorry driver, let me know if it's all what I said was actually true about driving lorries. Is it really nice to drive the lorry? It's just everything else around driving the lorry that is really uh, not so great. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgets, LP for both Twitter and Instagram. 
One thing I'm curious about is, does that compass work? I'm so curious that I'm not going to end this episode until I check that. Something I have not checked yet. That compass works. That is brilliant. Okay. That is all from me. I'll see you next time in Euro Truck Simulator 2.